Hello everybody and welcome back to Lone Star Planner Girl. This is Crystal and as you can see this is not my planner. Um, but I've been meaning to do a quick video on this. Um, this is a, a, an idea that I totally stole from Mandy Lynn Plans. I saw her um, talking about this and thought it was a genius idea. Um, this is an Erin Condren, um, I don't know, I don't even know what they call them, the Petite Folio? Folio Planner or something? Their take of a traveler's notebook. Um, it's got elastics and an elastic band. Um, this is, I think, the rose gold color. I don't even remember what color I got. But what is inside is their sticker folios. Um, they are a like a, a heavy vinyl, and they have just a whole bunch of like page protector. But they hold five by eight sheets, which is perfect for most cousin kits. Um, which is the majority of what I use. So I ordered three of these um, and a sleeve dashboard thingy. I don't remember what it's called. I'll link it down below. Um, it's like this little envelope thingy on the back. Um, all from Erin Condren. Um, and this is my sticker setup. Um, and as you can see, three of these sticker folios definitely chunks it up. Now they are, you know, completely full of... Um, stickers but um, I, I couldn't fit another one in here so um, as you can see they're they're not just folded in half there's actually a bit of a spine to them uh, which is nice it allows them to expand very nicely but um, another one wouldn't fit in here um, and as you can see you can even see a little bit it doesn't overhang but it comes right up to the edge um, so this is massive and it is heavy and it is not something that I carry with me um, but in this first folio, I just have um, colorway sets. Uh, Mandy Lynn Plans especially has colorways of functional stickers like water trackers and small, medium, and large boxes and check boxes and multi-day labels. And so I've purchased, you know, obviously, as you can see, some in multiple colorways. And I've got them laid out in here so I can keep the colorways together. Like this is her... You'd think I would have looked this up before I came on here, but no, no, no. I don't remember where this one is. Ocean, I think. This is her mint chocolate chip, the greens and, and chocolate. This is her summer bouquet. Um, this is neutral. This might be just be black and white. I don't remember if it's called neutral or black and white, but this was a neutral sleep tracker. As you can see, I've used most of them. Um, this is the lavender one is it lavender dreams something <laughs> one of these days I'll look up the uh, the names of stuff before I come on here to film um, and as you can see I really like this colorway the purples and greens I've got all the different size boxes I've got habit trackers even though I don't use habit trackers multi-day labels sleep trackers um, water trackers that I've used a bunch of these are actually um, transparent dots, more multi-day labels. This is the A6 size multi-day label, so they're made to fit the A6 size boxes rather than the cousin size. I mean, obviously you can use them in the cousin, but they won't fit perfectly. Um, these are all A6 size multi-day labels. I only have a couple of little things left in that one. This one is all of my kits that I've got that I've collected over the years. Some of these are from uh, Paper Squirrel Co. Most of them are Randy Lynn plans, I'll be honest. Um, some of them are from last year, just that I got and never used, or that I got in an oops kit and never used. This is Lethbridge Cards on Etsy. She has some really cute stuff for cousins, cousins? For the Hobonichi cousin as well. My all-time favorite Mandy Lynn plans kit. I've, I, I could probably look it up. I think I've probably bought four or five of these from her that I've used. Used. I love the coffee kit. Um, this is a Crafts by Dorelia. This is actually um, an Erin Condren size. This is on clearance, and I just thought it was cute, and then I could use the washi, so I bought it. Another Paper Squirrel Co. kit. Um, some Teal Lane Stickers kits. More Mandy Lynn Plans. I have a few Mandy Lynn Plans kits. More Teal Lane Stickers. This is one from my shop. Another one from my shop. More Mandy Lynn Plans more Mandy Lynn plans, and another Crafts by Dorelia kit. 
Um, and then the last one I have all of my script stickers in. So scripts, date dot, oh there's that one, I was looking for that a minute ago. Um, all of my scripts, holidays, months, just anything word writing. And then these are A6 date covers that I actually ordered that I was going to use for something else and I have decided not to use them for that. So I don't know what I'm going to use them for. Something. Um, and then just some smiley face stickers that I got for my kids. And then this actually came with my Erin Condren order. They're just some label stickers that don't fit very well in this. They stick out the top. But they were cute and they were great. So, um, And this was an Erin Condren kit that I ordered because I love this washi. And I think it's hilariously ironic that I bought this from Erin Condren and it does not fit in the folio pages. <laughs> um, I think this is probably one of the first sticker kits that they designed. I think they're different now. Um, but yeah, it won't fit in there. So I just have it tucked in the back here. So that is my sticker setup. It's nothing fancy, but it is incredibly functional, which is in the grand scheme of things, what is important. Um, yeah, so that's that. And I credit Maybe Land Plans um, for this idea. I saw her talking about it and I thought it was genius. So I went ahead and went with it. Um, but the reason being the hard part I have is I've done full size, full sheet page protectors to put stickers in, but most of the sticker pages that I have are five by eight or smaller. So they kind of fall to the bottom and then you have to reach in and pull them out and they then the page protectors tear. Um, or if you get the half sheet page protectors, the five by eight, um, they work okay, but especially with on the rings, I feel like they kind of jiggle a lot. And again, I end up ripping them or stuffing them too full. And this, I felt since it was sealed in the middle and not on rings, it doesn't move around as much. And I just kind of like the setup a lot better. So that's all that is. Nothing fancy, but I wanted to go through it real quick because I've been getting some questions. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. I'll link everything below as always. And we'll see you guys next time.